This is life. This is love. This is how I learn to trust. I was numb. I was blind. Then you opened up my eyes. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. It is gloomy out here and I feel like that's the same story for everywhere in the U.S. From California to Texas to here in D.C. It's pretty gloomy out. It's been raining the last couple of days. We are with the gang and we are headed to some uh, Bible school. notifications turned on if you don't know how to do that you basically go to our YouTube channel you click on a bell you make it's sure that yeah you make sure it looks like it's ringing that way you guys are notified every time we upload a video because sometimes our schedules a little wonky or sometimes we're uploading two days in a row sometimes it's every other day sometimes it's the two days and Sometimes it's just sometimes I later. like a whole month later. <laughs> but make sure you guys have that notification bell on. If you do, make sure you comment down below. Be like, I did it. I'm part of the real familia. And yeah. Surprise. Newer? Uh, it looks newer. Is it the same book? Just more content. Hey, you can say hi to the viewers. The familia, you can say hi. Uh, I'm not feeling that great, but I can say hi. You gonna wave? Hi. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> So tell us, Mr. Alex, what do you look like? What do you look for in a Bible? In a Bible? In a Bible. In a Bible. Well, because I'm like kind of guess old-fashioned, I usually read like the old, old Spanish version, and that's how I basically get my my knowledge. And this, if I don't understand it in that language, then I just go for like something a little more simpler, but that stays true to what the real Bible says. And like not like, you know, the good translations that you see nowadays that it's more simple, but to get to the actual like root of the word, like Hebrew translated Bibles, Greek translated Bibles, things that are like from the actual thing. Like this is as simple as it can get. This is as raw as it can be. That's how you use it for. So what would you just, you suggest for a person who's Beginning, so, understands um, it, yeah. Like, if you want to get to what me, version? If you just came to Christ or you're just trying to learn about who Christ is, then your best chances are probably to get like the message. The message would probably be like the best starter out Bible. Read this first and then move your way up to like God is God's word, and that's something that I've stuck to for like a while. God's word has probably been like the most direct, more accurate. Bible you're crazy, man. Ah. <laughs> Let's go. So no Bibles found. Oh, well, we found some Bibles in Barnes & Noble, but nothing that Alex really wanted. Um, so what are you thinking about the Bible situation? You know, just look one for one online? Or? Yeah, probably. 
be cheaper, easier, and I can stay at home while I wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, typically, honestly, if you wanted to know what I read, I've been reading the translation and hard copy of ESV. Why you gotta make that face? <laughs> she reads the Bible. Oh, well. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Dang. Snap. Someone woke up. Mm, no, it's not even bad butt. as the other day. The other day was just shot after shot after shot. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh my gosh, Alex has been like on a really like eesh, mood. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, excuse me. Excuse me? What's it matter? <laughs> I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> so, anyways, I really got some tears in my eyes <laughs> from that one. <laughs> but, anyways, I'm not gonna continue the conversation. Shut up. Thanks. Feel free to comment anytime in any of our videos. If you have a question about the Bible, if you're struggling in a certain area, we are not limited on what we want to do in this channel especially to help another brother and sister in Christ out, and we're not ashamed to admit that. So sorry if that turns you off a bit, but if you really need help, we're here to help. We're here to serve in any way that we can, so. We are currently at Roy Rogers. We are trying Roy Rogers for the very first time, which is super exciting. Um, oop, oop. <laughs> we ordered a bacon cheeseburger, some fries, and a drink, and then I got a bacon cheeseburger, and we're all gonna share it. So, here's our food. Give Nilo his first try. There you go. No, <laughs> what's wrong? Break it open, but you don't like it. There's some ketchup on it. <laughs> he doesn't really like it. That's a French try. Have you Rogers before? Yeah. Oh, he is. I am. Got mayo, ketchup, lettuce, lettuce. Bacon Roy Rogers.
Rogers. Here we go. Let's take it away, Alex. It's good. I mean, Roy Rogers has never been like bad food. It's just like if I were to want to take it home, it wouldn't be as good when I got home. It'd be like some garbage. It would lose its, uh, it would lose its taste. Like the fries don't taste good. They get all soggy and nasty. And like at least, like you know, at least McDonald's after I get it from the drive-through, I get home. It still has some type of flavor. But like, <laughs> come on now, you gave me the bag. Like as soon as you gave me the bag, I don't just lost all this potency. But um, other than that, I mean, the quality of the food when it's fresh, probably about four star. But four out of five. But I mean, as soon as I get home, I'm trying to get that drink to go. You think that's more than the faux place? The faux place was three and a half. You think Roy Rogers? No, but I mean, I'm talking on three and a half. But that was just because the the chicken I had was dry. At least, like you know, when it's fresh, it would had some taste. Well, okay. well, actually, you're right about it. You're right about it. Yeah. Mike, it's I, I take that back. I take. I take <laughs> that back. Not my review. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. Well, I mean. All right. But you had soup. You had soup. I, okay. Whereas I had chicken with He did. Rice. Okay. Yeah. Roy Rogers here. We both had a bacon cheeseburger. Single patty, same mayo, tomatoes, uh, lettuce, uh, barbecue sauce. We got the same stuff. The thing about it is it's not, in my personal opinion, it's not, the best burger. It's not that great. For having first time Roy Rogers and maybe it's the restaurant, whatever, but it wasn't hot. It wasn't hot. It wasn't warm. At least Wendy's, you get it warm. The bacon is a little bit more crispy. You've got more, like, guest seasoning on the patty. This patty is, like, you can tell it's been in the freezer. They just heat it up. It's been sitting a little while, and then they put it on the, on the patty. It's just, it's fast food, but it's not really fast food because it's not quality. It's not quali <laughs> I mean, but you pay a little bit more than... Like, but if I'm gonna pay more, you better give me some quality food. Like, exactly. The I've fries, been trying to shake for a while, right? The fries, not the best, I guess. I've been craving. You get cold real fast. So for me, my review is probably either two and a half to three stars. That's me. What about your shake? My shake was okay. It's not the greatest shake. I wouldn't. I don't like Roy Rogers shakes just because they don't taste as good. I like my shakes chunky and at least cold, not <laughs> warm, like not liquefied. I don't, if I if I wanted to liquefy, I might as well just give me some milk and let it sit in the sun. Like that's just nasty. So I mean, that's how I think about my shake. My shake should be ice cold, chunks in it of actual cookies, not water. So your shake wasn't good either. Maybe your Roy Rogers, where you guys are, are really good. <laughs> Let us down. Let us know down below what your favorite meal is at Roy Rogers. What you like about Roy Rogers. Or if you don't like Roy Rogers, let us know down below because we want to know.